All right, the expanding universe. On Sunday, March 15, 2009, I flew to Orlando, Florida to see the launch of Discovery in Cape Canaveral, the first launch I ever saw. At five seconds, the engines ignited, and at zero seconds, Discovery went into the sky. I could feel the vibrations. Discovery looked like a ball of fire, the color of autumn leaves, and it left a trail of smoke. What would you want scientists to learn about the universe from a space shuttle mission? All right, what does the Big Bang Theory say about the universe? Astronomers have learned a lot about the universe. They theorize that the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. At that time, the part of the universe we can see was no larger than the period at the end of this sentence. This tiny universe was incredibly hot and dense. The universe then exploded in what astronomers call the Big Bang. Keep in mind, again, this chapter, um, a lot of this is theoretical. And there's not a lot of proof to back up all of these explanations they give us. All right, according to the Big Bang Theory, the universe formed in an instant, billions of years ago, in an enormous explosion. New observations led many astronomers to conclude that the universe will likely expand forever. Since the Big Bang, the size of the universe has been increasing. The universe is immensely larger now than it once was. As the universe expanded, it gradually cooled. After a few hundred thousand years, atoms formed. Within about the first 500 million years after the Big Bang, the first stars and galaxies formed. All right, moving galaxies. In the 1920s, an American astronomer, Edwin Hubble, discovered important evidence that led to the Big Bang Theory. Hubble studied the spectrums of many galaxies at various distances from Earth. By examining a galaxy's spectrum, Hubble could tell how fast the galaxy was moving and whether it was moving toward our galaxy or away from it. Hubble discovered that almost all galaxies are moving away from us and from each other. Hubble found the relationship between the distance to a galaxy and its speed. Hubble's law states that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away from us. Hubble's law strongly supports the Big Bang Theory. Cosmic Background Radiation Another piece of evidence for the Big Bang Theory was discovered by accident. In 1965, two American physicists, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, detected faint radiation on their radio telescope coming from all directions. Scientists later concluded that this cosmic background radiation is the leftover thermal energy from the Big Bang. This energy was distributed in every direction as the universe expanded. All right, so... The galaxies in the universe are like raisins in rising bread dough. Draw the raisins in their new positions on the bottom picture. Explain why the raisins are like galaxies. The Big Bang and the future of the universe. What will happen to the universe in the future? One possibility is that the universe will continue to expand. All of the stars will eventually run out of fuel and burn out, and the universe will be cold and dark. Another possibility is that the force of gravity will begin to pull the galaxies back together as shown in figure two. The result would be a reverse big... Did you say stars in here? I didn't. And that's the most retarded confusion. I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. Okay. The result would be a reverse big bang or big crunch. The universe would be crushed in an enormous black hole. All right, the big crunch. The small diagram represents the expansion of the universe until now. The Big Bang is at the bottom. On the top part of the diagram, draw a sketch of the universe collapsing into a big crunch. Explain your drawing. Which of these possibilities is more likely? Recent discoveries have produced a surprising new view of the universe that is still not well understood but many astronomers conclude that the universe will likely expand forever. Dark matter. Until recently, astronomers assumed that the universe consisted solely of the matter they could observe directly. But this idea was disproved by American astronomer Vera Rubin. Rubin studied the rotation of spiral galaxies. She discovered that the matter that astronomers can see makes up as little as 10% of the mass in galaxies. The rest exists in the form of dark matter. Dark matter is matter that does not give off electromagnetic radiation. It cannot be seen directly. However, its presence can be inferred by observing the effect of its gravity on visible objects. An accelerating expansion. 
In the late 1990s, astronomers observed that the expansion of the universe appeared to be accelerating. That is, galaxies seem to be moving apart at a faster rate than in the past. This observation was puzzling, as no known force could account for it. Astronomers infer that a mysterious new force, which they call dark energy, is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate, as shown in Figure 3. The static on your TV screen includes radiation left over from the Big Bang. Interpret diagrams. The diagram represents a universe that is expanding forever. Explain why scientists think this might happen. They're talking about this diagram on the page. All right, over here. What was the Big Bang? When did the Big Bang occur? Describe two pieces of evidence that support the Big Bang theory.